Okay, we are going to talk about representing linear non-proportional relationships. Linear meaning that it's going to be a straight line. The reason it's going to be non-proportional is because it will not go through the origin if we graph it on a coordinate plane. All right, so there's a couple things I want to talk about. Linear equation. This is an equation whose solutions are ordered pairs. Your ordered pairs are points on the line. Okay, and they can look like negative six, five. This is an ordered pair, all right? And that form a line when graphed on a coordinate plane. A coordinate plane, all it is, is the graph with your x and y axis, all right? Linear equations can be written in the form of y equals mx plus b, and y, y equals mx plus b is our slope intercept form, all right? <clears throat> our m we've talked about, which is a slope, and the B is the y-intercept. This is where the line is going to cross through your y-axis. And we'll talk more about that in um, section 4-2. What we're going to do is we've um, been provided with a linear equation, and we're going to create a function table and find out what our outputs are. All right, and let me go through a couple little things here. Your input or your x, this can be any number you want, all right? You have your input x, which is also in the independent value, all right? It can be any number that you want it to be. We usually use um, some famous x's, is what I call them, is negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If you have five um, numbers that they would like you to have, then we normally throw in the negative 2, all right? The output is the dependent value. He depends on x. x does not need y, y needs x. So now what I've done is created this function table that you can go in and find your y's and your coordinates so that you can graph on the bottom. So you are going to plug in or replace the x that we provided in the linear equation. So you're going to say two parentheses because 2x means 2 times x and you're going to replace that x with negative 1 plus 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative one. So your first coordinates on the coordinate plane or the coordinate graph is negative one, negative one. You're gonna to go to the next one, two times zero plus one, anything times zero is zero. So two times zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. Next coordinate, zero, one. Next one, two times one plus one. Two times one is two. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1, 3, next coordinate. And our last, 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5, our last coordinate. We're going to use those coordinates, and we're going to graph them on the coordinate plane below. Notice I have them labeled, your y and your x. Remember, x always comes first. Negative 1, negative 1. Remember, he's a non-proportional linear, so it should be straight. If it's not a straight line, we might have made a mistake, so we have to pay attention. Our next one, 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 5. All right, so I have my four points. I'm going to take my straight edge or my ruler, and I'm going to graph the line. Remember, if it wasn't straight, then we made a mistake. All right, I go past my points because with the linear equation, this can go on and on and on. As long as I provide myself another x, our independent value or input, I can get another y output. All right, I would like you guys to try the examples that I provided you for page 33. See how you do.